Ave Maria, welcome again to Cato Pinoy Franciscan Vesper or Evening Prayer. We are now in Monday of the third week of Lent. So if you have your bravery like this or digital, let us start by praying the invocation of Saint Bonaventure. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart from any wordless, evil, distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my riches gain, I count but loss and poor contempt. On all my pride, forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save in the death of Christ my God. The vain delights that charm me most. I sacrifice them to his blood. See from his head, his hands is weak. What grief and love flow mingling down. Did such love and sorrow me? Or thorns compose so rich a crown. Were all the realm of nature mine, that were a present far too small, love so amazing. Sing so divine, demands my soul, my life, my own. First Antiphon, our eyes are fixed intently on the Lord, waiting for His merciful help. From Psalm 123, To you I have lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens, my eyes like the eyes of a slave, on the hands of their lords, like the eyes of a servant, on the hands of her mistress. So our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he show us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with contempt. Indeed, all too full is our soul, with the scorn of the rich, with the proud man's disdain. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. First Antiphon, our eyes are fixed intently on the Lord, waiting for His merciful help. Second Antiphon, our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. From Psalm 124, If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's song. If the Lord had not been on our side, when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive. When their anger was kindled, then would the waters have engulfed us. The torrent gone over us, over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our life like a bird has escaped. From the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken, and we have escaped. 
Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antiphon, Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Third Antiphon, God chose us in His Son to be His adopted children. Canticle is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3 to 10. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him before the world began to be holy and blameless in His sight. He predestined us to be His adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was His will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor He has bestowed on us in His Beloved. In Him and through His blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan He was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in Him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Third Antiphon, God chose us in His Son to be His adopted children. Reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. Responsory, to you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Response, to you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Response, I make my prayer for mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Response, to you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Canticle of Mary, Jesus walked through the crowd and went away. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Canticle of Mary Jesus walked through the crowd and went away. Intercessions, O Lord Jesus Christ, has saved us from our sins. 
as his people, let us call out to him. Response. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Lord Christ, we pray for your holy church. You gave yourself up to make it holy, washing it clean by water and the life-giving word. Response. Renew it constantly and purify it by penance. Good Master, show young people the way you have chosen for each of them. Response. May they walk in it and find fulfillment. In your compassion, you healed all forms of sickness. Bring hope to the sick and raise them up. Response. Teach us to love and care for them. Make us mindful of the dignity you gave us in baptism. Response. May we live for you at every moment. May the dead rise to glory in your peace. Response. Grant us with them a share in your kingdom. So brothers and sisters, let us include in this Franciscan Vesper our evening prayer, our family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, our faithful departed, and let us not forget to include our frontliners, our brothers and sisters affected, affected by this pandemic. Now let us pose a moment of silence for our personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of mercy, free your church from sin, and protect it from evil. Guide us, for we cannot be saved without you. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, your health, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So thank you very much for praying with me. Once again, I am, Fra I am Father Johannes Jeremy, or Father Jeremy Maria Salise, of the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate Beagle Mission, telling you all, always remember, don't forget, smile, be happy, Mama Mary loves you. Ave Maria and a blessed Monday to all.